y'all. I hope you're having a great day. Not just a good day, but I am so excited. Guess what today is, y'all? Now, this is a girl going to college. Um, I was watching the Milrow video of the Alabama quarterback and his girlfriend, how the mama kind of didn't like it. I was just going through it, and then this popped up, and it was interesting how things have changed, how the focus, at least from the sororities that I used to know, have changed. And it's, it's, it's going to be trouble for men out there. Listen to this. It's a good day. I uh, cannot believe that this week is over. It's been such a fun time, a great experience. If anybody wants to go out to be in a sorority, or if you're thinking about doing Bama Rush next year, 100% recommend. I'm so excited to get a bid today, but I'm going to give you a little OOTD because, you know, that's what makes it fun here. My shoes are, oh, back up so you can see them. My shoes are Burberry. My okay, we starting off with $1,000 shoes. This is college, folks. Thousand. This is the best opportunity for a guy, for a, a young man that doesn't have as much income. He may come. He, there's a, obviously there's well-to-do families that, that go to college. No doubt about it. Hundred thousand percent. She may be a well-to-do, but this is being blatantly shown as if this is going to be the average now. So coming into college, let's keep watching. Burberry shoes to start off with. Let's go ahead. My skirt is Aritzia and so is the top. The sports bra is Lululemon. Lululemon, sorry, I say it wrong every time. Everybody makes fun of me, but it's fine. Um, my socks are from Active Set. My jewelry is Louis Vuitton, Cartier. Said it right, guys. <laughs> <sighs> it's tough, man. It is tough. And. To make it worse, yes, it's the same school that your boy Jalen Monroe, Milrow, is playing for. Okay? Alabama of all schools. I could see this like in a more you know a more fancy school. But however, just because it's the South doesn't mean they're not up on name brands. Be beware. You know, if you think she's wearing those cowboy boots you think are cheap, they're more expensive than your, you know, than, than a couple pair of Jordans. Heads up. Some of them cowboy boots you guys be laughing, you know, you be looking at, them. they're expensive. They ain't cheap. Now, a man's coming into school. He's trying to get his, his bearings right. Even if he's a scholarship athlete, okay? Usually, unless, you know, I don't, don't want to go there, but, you know, you, you know the deal, guys. Some of, the, some of the dudes come from urban areas and they're able to, you know, some on the side. You know, a Jamaican here, you know, a purple here, here and there, and, you know, make a little, you know, you know how they do it. And if you're not from that set that didn't come from that money, and you see this girl, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Typical step for wife. You know, she looks like she, she, could, she could fit right in with the Trump battalion. Has a little, it looks like she has a little Asian in her. Okay. Um... What are you to do? <laughs> Kendra Scott, um, more Louis Vuitton, and Pandora. And then my earrings were sent to me from Stud, so thank you guys. Hey, y'all. I hope you're having. You know? And then you got guys like Shador Sanders, uh, Dion's son, who's on an NIL deal. He's collecting million dollar uh, checks. You got the other girl from LSU. What's her name? Olivia Dunn. She collected million dollar checks. Uh, Reese was making that last year. Caitlin Clark was making that last year on campus. The only place to build a relationship. I'm not there. I'm too old, right? But I do. I do go. I do. Uh, you know, I do traverse the library there once in a while. They got fast internet. You can download a lot of stuff. You can get a lot done in the library. I'm still a library girl. Yes, sir. I'm, yeah, I'm still from that generation. I still hit up the library from here and there. It's just to work on a computer. They got fast, fast, fast internet. Even if you got a hundred megabytes at home, that 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 college internet for some reason, zoop, 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 zoop. I don't know what it is. Anyway, this is is this not a standard? Now I, I didn't see that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I believe the kids are coming back on campus. Um, I stay in shape. I can wear a fitted cap. 
So, yes, I still get hit on, but the girls, I guess I'm getting to an age now where I give them the look like I'm your uncle, your daddy, don't play with me. Okay? Don't play with it. Because they're still young. There's 18, 19 is, is, is young for me now at my age. I feel like the, the voice will turn me off, right? The conversation. They're going to be doing some TikTok dance. I'm going to be like, what the, you know. I, I'm fun for a little bit, but I'm not going to be, I mean, I'm, that's not going to consume my whole day like these kids, like I'm seeing, doing a whole day of dancing. Anyway, the point, and back to the point, how can a young man, middle class family and all that, because this is where he meets girls like this. This is the first attempt. This is probably the best attempt. If you can catch one here, it's probably the last, I would say, uh, a pseudo business deal. I believe everything's still business. A lot of people say, no, this is real love. I think it's pseudo business. She's banking on your future. You're banking on her future, right? The last opportunity before it becomes all business. And this is what we got to play with. Okay? Now, depending on the sorority, it could be bougie. So that's the one context I didn't give you. There are bougie-ass sororities <laughs> that, you know, the girl's got money. She, she may be a part of that, just, just by judging by looking at her. But for me, it was just a sad thought that if young men are coming in, and by the way, women are dominating universities. If young men are coming in with the expectation to keep up with this, and again, some of them may be able to. They're from, you know, maybe not a, you know, a kid that comes from money as well right or has done something well i don't know tiktok or something they can make money in so many ways now that we can't think of as older people it's retarded so you don't you don't know there could be something they're doing right but in general it's a big wow for me it's like wow what are these these guys are these guys are coming in losing she's already made up for a guy who's coming into his prime 28 29 and is about to hit his financial prime i know it's 40s 50s but some nowadays move it up 10 years i believe that 30 market starts moving okay um let's look at the campuses though it's kind of crazy Jalen monroe i want to talk to his mother real quick as we look at the only advantage he has is, as we continue to walk through is that there's so many of these she has 67 videos only 200 subscribers i wonder why Maybe because I think that uh, you don't have enough of these videos. Yeah. When I told you there would be no other place that you will have this amount of women available, I couldn't find a Hispanic and black one. I'm just going to continue with this. It's just the same for those groups. Man, black women at this point, 18 and 23 is a real peak for all these girls. I, let's, let's stop it. All, most girls, 18 to 26, if they can maintain, my Lord. They know what they got. They know they're in the power. All right? Look at this. Look at this line up here. All you, all, you do, all you do in that type of environment is next, 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 next. If she don't like me, it's next, 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 next. If she don't give me a number, it's next, 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 next. <laughs> huh? Lord, have mercy. And I'm not going for looks because, again, I'm getting older. What I'm saying is look at the sheer number of girls for these young men, okay? This, that, that one I do like. Uh, I do like her. It's like an Italian or Arabian. All right. Italiano, she looked like that girl from what do you call it? What's that? What's that show? Jersey Shore. She looked just like Jess or something like that. Those are real good looking Italian women like that are very trapped. But you, you'll be tough to get it. Anyway, her brother, her brother started beef with you. You know, you know how they get if you if they're doing dealing with outsiders. Now, um, this is again an opportunity. All right, though. For these guys, for these guys, I'm gonna turn the sound down. It's probably copyright strike the whole goddamn video because of Mary J. 
But the advantage serve, and that's a nice sorority house. The advantage serve. What, what university is this? This can't be Bama. What is that? Utah? They're in the middle of nowhere by the, by, just by the. Fighting yourself, building relationships. These are a lot of booze. I, what I back, you know, back inside of the topic is just no fancy. You you fancy, huh? Right? Don't they look kind of fancy, dog? Like they like it's like you know what I mean. They look kind of fancy to me. And there she goes, that rush girl. Uh, royal videos. Okay, I see why he wasn't getting no hits. He was. <laughs> yes. In the beginning, he was doing real royal videos, dog. I mean, just stick, just stick to the script, dog. Right here. There you go, Sigma Kappa. Some mixerari, okay. Black, okay. I, I love it. Who's that? Who's that? The was that a a a a, 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 a rainbow fly? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Lord. The rainbow fly. All right, here we go some more. And now, and now, like, you're saying, what is the purpose? The other side of this is numbers, young men. All right? It's sad about that one expensive bougie, but these are, these that's the group I would be with right here. The one before this one, a mixed group. Looks like everybody's in there. They're not. They don't appear to be as bougie, but maybe it's a... I like the mix. See how they got everything? Yeah. All right. This is a big group. It's two jean shorts and a, and a top. All right. Fathers, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to close your eyes, brothers. I mean, <laughs> you just got to close your eyes. You know, it is what it is. Nice mix here. Very nice. There you go. Uh my sister bad as hell. Lord have mercy. You can tell just looking at the black girl, she deals with white guys. I can just tell right away by her skin tone. Because it's they attract the DNA, but there you go. Look look at the number there. Look at the sheer number. This is Texas AM. Who was the one before this? Does it have the Nebraska? Wow. Nebraska. And it's crazy how you go to different campuses, you get different looks. It's kind of pretty dope. Where's this one at? Bama Rush. Okay, enough of Bama. Bama looks too bougie. All right, Bama look because that other girl was from Bama. Yeah, you know this. This is the money, but there's nowhere else. And why I say push it, push it real good. This is Bama again. So this must be a Bama girls channel. I'll, I'll thumbs you up, ladies. All right, make sure you finish your school up. But you know. There's no other place, men, that you're going to be able to see this amount, you know, of ladies and have this much opportunity when they're in their best to build a long term. Nowhere else. There'll be nowhere else. OK. Um, and you got to take this seriously. This Bama, too. Who is goofy? <laughs> Oh, UCF. This is interesting. This should be good. Yeah, it should be a nice mix. Yeah, yeah. This is a UCF in Orlando. Okay, again, the sheer number of opportunities, even with the bougie girls, makes it so that, it, you know, and this is what a lot of a lot of you guys going, I'd rather get the money and all that. I'll be honest with you. Um I hate for young men to get I hate young, for young men to skip out on this without the money. Without the money. Okay? It's a great experience without the money. You get to learn a lot of things about women and relationships and and and, 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 and it's a little bit more genuine. She's definitely looking at your potential. There's always money involved. Yes. Okay? They're in business, you're in love. But it's you know a little bit more sway to he looks cute. He's going for this degree, and you're checking boxes. And that usually happens junior year. Freshman, sophomore year, close your eyes. Let them explore, okay? I'm honest. At least I'm honest. Close your eyes and forget about it. Freshman, sophomore year for a girl just coming out, 
close your eyes and forget about it. Even junior year. Close your eyes and forget about it. All right? <laughs> you don't want to. Wow. Look at these numbers. Look at it. Look at this. Look at the numbers, guys. Crazy. And they're going in. This, these Bama girls. So this is her channel. This got to be her channel. Okay. All right. Is this the left? Okay, it's the first video. I think this is old. I thumb them up. I'm going to stop it here. So even if, to give you a summary, I like a takeaway, right? The takeaway is, yes, there's a lot of bougie girls right now. Yes, the amount of money you're going to need, is it appears to be higher. But there's a couple. Look at this. There's some Birkenstock down there. There's still an opportunity. There's going to be somebody in this long, long pile that stretches from here to Route Mount goddamn Rushmore if you had a major university. It goes all day long, okay? That you maybe can start to build something with. And it's very important if you're looking for the biblical type of life and don't make the mistakes like me and just being out there and, and, and being in, in situations you don't want to be in. All right, there's a lot of scares if you deal. And again, ladies, be careful in the freshman, sophomore year when you're exploring. STDs is at all time high there. Abortions, pregnancies, all those things use protection. I'm honest, guys. I know I'm not supposed to say that. I'm just being honest. You should be using protection at all times. All times. Okay? And um, with that said, it's sad for men, but I believe the sheer numbers of college, the sheer numbers outweigh all the bad all the bad elements of the of the new money economy with social media. I think that because not all these girls can be Olivia Dunn. They all could, right? They all look their best, but you get your ladies, you can't take you all, right? There's only gonna be a five or ten of you that really make him pop out. The rest are gonna be regular regular, you know, regular girls. And uh, for a man, like I said, your best opportunity to be yourself, to not have to uh, ride a Ferrari inside of, inside of campus, I'm going to keep it real with you. When you show off too much on the university, I used to notice I got less play. I used to have a little Cadillac because I always find I'm, I'm a good deal finder no matter what my age is. I can find a good deal. I can, I can sweep up a McLaren for half the price. You know, I'm, I'm one of them guys. All right. I'm not, I don't necessarily have the money, but I can find a good deal. When I drove my Cadillac on campus... Right, I had a Deville, what was it? DTS, I forgot what it was back in the day. But anyway, the green one with the spokes, it looked, it looked good. It, it was crazy, man. I was like, you know, I was fooling with that thing. Um, somebody hit me. Anyway, I I got actually like like girls. Actually, they now nah, I want to say yeah, you got some girls, but it was a, it was a different element type of girl. When I was walking wearing sandals and flip flops and regular sweats on, I got you know I got more. Just kicking it, just you know, you know, I was, I, you know, I was, a, I was a library guy. <laughs> I would sit up front with a couple of my guys. You know, we go to the to the rec and all that, or you know, go, you know, practice or whatever. You know, and then you know, and, and you know, just hit them up, hit them up. Let me see it all sit up all day long. You know, all day long, and that's and it killed me because I'm, I'm giving some life practice here because I was too focused on on you know having fun, right, and, and living in my element. Um, I should have been more focused on my schoolwork, but that freshman year, it is an exploratory year. Parents got to be advised of that. It's like, it's almost like a throwaway year. All right. You just go, whatever. He's going to, he's going to fuck it up. She's going to fuck it up. All right. Then the sophomore year, people get more serious. Junior year, the ones who are excelling are about to graduate. The ones that didn't excel, they're a part, uh, you know, a partying. They're trying to, you know, they're finally figuring it out and, and getting their steps wet. So they probably got another year or two of school left. <laughs> <laughs> instead of the four years of five year but but it gets done you get the experience and perhaps and maybe if you do it right you end up with a nice young lady and ladies you end up with a nice young man and you can do that 20 30 year run have your kids and then be 40 45 probably be divorced but at least you made your run your buddy mikey signed off again just some life lessons i was scared right but then i came back and i looked at the the sheer numbers, right? Look at it. Look at the numbers. You know, the sheer numbers of this thing. I was like, well, she could be bougie, but not every one of these girls is bougie. They may have the thought of wanting to be like the red in the front, 
But there's no way not every single one of these is bougie. All right, they won't be they won't be able to do it. They, they they're gonna realize there's not enough guys. I'm out of here, your boy Mikey. Signing off, young ladies. If you see me on campus, we talk media. I'm your uncle and your daddy. I will pull my belt out. Don't you dare disrespect me with the flirty shit. I right? I will whip you. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>